Welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today we're taking on the Auburn Tigers and the Kentucky Wildcats as we continue Season 9 and uh, delve deeper into SEC action here on the channel. We are currently in Week 8. We're going to have to simulate that real quick. Let me get all this fun, happy stuff off my screen and we'll get it going. Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below. We're on our way to 1,400 subscribers. Just need a few more to eclipse that milestone. All right, let's see. We are all set. All right, week eight. Let's simulate. See what UCF and uh, Marshall are going to do in this game. Should be a fun one. And Marshall gets the win, 24-22. What a game that was. <coughs> All right. Syracuse just beat somebody 33 to nothing. All right, here is our matchup. We are 6-0 on the season. Auburn, 4-2 and two on the year. It's just a regional broadcast for us here tonight in the first game. We have the number four offense in the country. Auburn is ranked 47th in offense. They put up a pretty good amount of points, though, 28 per game. We are number one in points per game. I don't know what's going on this season. We have so many different weapons, uh, so many new weapons, I should say. And, I mean, they've all lived up to whatever hype they had uh, coming out of high school. All these four- and five-star recruits are definitely living up to their names right now uh, as our offense just continues to punish, folks. We just beat Vandy 70-10 uh, to 10 the last contest. We put up 52 on LSU, 55 on Middle Tennessee State, and 44 against Rice. So we are just scoring at will, it seems like, here in season number nine. But let's get right into the game. We take on the Tigers. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, <coughs> profile. Let me let me actually load that. I mean, the game just saves whatever it wants to save at this point, so I don't even know which profile is what, what's going on. I don't know. It's such an old system and old memory cards, so... I mean, we're lucky the thing is <laughs> it's still kicking. Also, we finalized our, our poll on the channel. We asked who do you guys want to see or what game do you guys want us to, uh, want to see us play next for our dynasty and NCAA 07 was the clear cut winner with 40% of the votes NCAA 11 had 28% of the vote and 09 and 10 each had about 15% each located in Starkville Mississippi the battle cry for this college football showdown clear skies and just beautiful game between the Auburn Tigers and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Brad Nessler here along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. Right in the midst of this wonderful college football season, this game certainly looks to have all the energy of a championship matchup. The Bulldogs come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blow. Mississippi State comes into this game with their biggest playmaker at wide receiver, and that's exactly what he does. He makes big plays. Lee, this secondary has really got their hands full of trying to slow this guy down. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Mississippi State is going to come in here and pound the ball right at this defense. And when they're done with that, Kirk, they're going to pound them and pound them and pound them even more. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss. So All right, I've had enough. Let's go. Let's do this. 
Tigers, Bulldogs, right now. Let's get it, boys. I want the ball. We're getting the ball, and we're going to score, all right? Let me turn the commentary off. All right, here we go. Freshman running back, McCoy, on for the kick return. Man, he's looking a little slow already. My goodness. Up to the 24-yard line, though. Not a bad return for the young fella. And do I have the correct quarterback in there? That is the question. No, I do not. Get pace back in there. I remember we uh, we were doing quite well in the last game, so <laughs> put a bunch of backups in. There we go. Okay, we're back 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 in business. Let's go. Get some fullback action going here. And Sandoval is going to pick up four yards for us to start things off. Not too shabby. Looking for Sanford to have a pretty big game on the ground as well for us. The sophomore halfback looking to get in that Heisman race. And not with that run. Just two yards for Damian Sanford. Third down and four coming up. We are 53% on third down this season. That is sixth best in the country. Right, we got a corner over there. And Sanford going to juke up past the 35-yard line. Should be enough for the first down. And it is. And now I want to throw it. Try to get a little aggressive here. Desmond Dale. I'm going to send Malone left on an out. He's not open. Desmond Dale's wide open. And he overthrows his target. Oh, my goodness. That should have been a big-time game for us. But instead, here we are, second down and ten coming up. See what kind of defense they're running. They're running man coverage with the corners at least. Get that block. There we go. Oh, this could be good. Damian Sanford down the left sideline. Whoop. Oh, baby. Let's go. Huge run inside the 30-yard line. Just a casual 14.3 yards per carry for Sanford. No big deal. Let's go play action wheel now. Man, there was just nobody on that left side. Up top, back of the end zone. Overthrown, deflected away. Play action does not go according to plan on that play. There we go, fullback. Good block. Sanford looking tired. Gets dropped around the 16-yard line. He's already got 56 yards just on this drive. Uh-oh. There we go. Taking off. Oh, good tackle. Pace gets it to about the 14 before he's dropped. 93% in the red zone this season. That's good for 10th best. Very efficient this year. And there goes Sanford. Nice catch and run inside the five-yard line. Bulldogs threatening at the four. Let's hand it off to the big fella. And Sandoval going to walk in for the easy touchdown for the fullback. Bulldogs strike first. It's 6-0 here in Starkville. Man, what a great drive that was. Strong opening statement of the game for us. Extra point. Up and good from Rick Hayes. 10 plays, 76 yard drive, 209 off the clock. Let's see how the defense fares. 
against this Tiger offense. Man, I'm just not doing so hot in the kick power department here today. And a nice tackle by Gray at the 19-yard line. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Happy February, I guess. Man, January, you know, at, at one point it felt like it was an eternity. And then at another point, as we get a fumble recovery here with Bullock, great play. Another point, it just felt like the month went by so fast. That was a huge takeaway. First play of the game for our defense and already forcing a turnover. You'd love to see that. Up top, and we already give it right back to him. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, Mulligan, Mulligan right there. All right, back to defense. <laughs> That's unfortunate, it really is. All right, see if we can get back here, get some pressure on this quarterback. This Cam Newton wannabe. Direct snap, and Boone is going to get nothing. Dropped at the 8-yard line. Hey, Presh Lock, what's going on, brother? Yeah, it was a great start until uh, <laughs> the very next play. Yeah. I don't like this play. I don't like that. There we go. That's better. Play action. Oh, how did he catch that? That was a great catch. All right, they're down at six. Getting closer and closer to the end of this go-around for the Bulldogs dynasty. Oh, he's wide open. What a catch by Dunlap. Oh, my goodness. You can't defend that. You just can't. Dunlap getting close to 200 yards receiving this season. Not bad. Yeah, get out of here. I didn't even do a corner blitz right there, but, you know, Robbins had other plans. Huge tackle for a loss by the corner. Loss of four. And Love has a nice catch. Picks up about eight yards. Gaining three straight completions. It's third down and six. counter and we get the stop defense coming out strong here today see if we can't get our second blocked punt in the series punt block video that I posted on the channel kind of blew up over 1200 views on that block extra point video actually has more with 1400 that's nice returned by Mullins at the left sideline not sure why we're getting some booze here. Yeah, after season 10 of the Bulldogs, we're going to play some arena football, get back into our, our Making Knights series as Mullins drops that pass. Not sure why he dove. Didn't really have to. But we're going to play Making Knights for season, maybe two seasons. We'll see how it goes. That might be like kind of a placeholder series. Just play one season in between dynasties. Oh, no. Now the Auburn defense coming up with a big-time play, and they are going to get a scoop and score for Edwards, the linebacker. So yes, we will be jumping into 07. I'm going to put up another poll to let you guys decide the conference that we're going to be playing in. It's either going to be the Pac-10, the Big Ten, or a smaller conference. So it'll be cool to see what you guys actually want to see. Extra point is up, and it is good. Tie ball game here. Bulldogs started off hot, and the uh, last several possessions have just been a sloppy mess of a team. Not sure what's going on, but we're going to figure it out, and we're going to fix it. 
Whoops. Not, not a bad return from Mullins up to the 30. Even after I hit a button on accident. I might actually put up that poll uh, after this stream tonight. Oh, nice tackle. Sanford could have been gone. Nine-yard pickup for the sophomore. Crowd is kind of quiet right now. They're really not sure what's happening with their team. And to be quite frank with you, I'm, I'm not sure either. I'm surprised that wasn't a fumble, honestly. Let's go ISO. Bulldogs trying to go back-to-back -back titles. See if we can do it. Sanford thrown backwards. They did give him forward progress, though. First down, dogs. Let's go play action. He's got him open. That's Massey. And he is gone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. What a strike from Cletus Pace. That pump fake. They got one of the defensive linemen to jump up. I don't think it really froze the secondary. I think Massey uh, just outran everybody. It looked like a linebacker might have been man coverage on him. And that is a mismatch every time. Beautiful throw. I am going to miss a kick today. I feel it. Four plays, 70 yards, 45 seconds off the clock. Now uh, we're going to finish uh, season nine during the week. I believe Thursday. So I'll probably stream an extra day this week. And then on the weekend. We're going to start up Season 10. I might play a whole bunch of games on Saturday. I don't know. Just depends on how I'm feeling. Just wasn't really feeling all that well last week. More of a mental thing going on there, but working through it. Toss play. Uh-oh, I'm the only one out here. Nice run from Boone. The Tigers finally get positive rushing yards for the game. And that's going nowhere. Perfectly called blitz. That's Corbin May, his fourth tackle today in the first quarter. What do you guys want to see for our 07 series? Let me know in the chat or in the comments if you're watching this after the live is over. And there's a slight overthrow. That could have been a big time play to the tight end. Instead, we got a third down and 13 for Auburn at their own 39 yard line. is nearly picked off. Kennedy comes through, gets a big hit on the receiver as well. And that was Corbin May, the senior right outside linebacker on the coverage. Blackwell on for his second punt today. Last one was just 37 yards. And we had a pretty decent return from Mullins. Did not get close enough for a block. We're going to have to fair catch this. Do not want to turn over again. Defense playing stellar. Auburn does have the seven points, but that was a scoop and score. So not really, uh, not really the defense's fault there. Not sure what just happened. Oh, false or uh, offsides rather. I think 07 is when the game got more pass heavy. Okay. So maybe I try to run the ball in a pass-heavy game, you know? Try to switch it up. 
Good run from Sanford up to the 38-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Yeah, I really, I really want to go either a northern school, so Big Ten, or West Coast. So it's going to be really fun seeing who you guys want me to use. Or, you know, it could be a smaller school as well in a, in a small conference to try to build our way up. But again, I, I want it to be either northern where it's cold or on the west coast where there's just sunny, beautiful weather. Because we've already done SEC quite a bit, obviously, with the Bulldogs. And done ACC a couple times already. Uh, I don't want to keep going back to the ACC. I don't want to get bored. I don't want you guys to get bored either. Oh, no. Center let go of his block at the last second. Lost a two on the sack. I also want to try to use... I always like using... Oh, no, that was a very, really bad pass. I like using teams that have never won a natty before. I did not want to throw it to that guy. Third down and 12. Up top. Malone got him. And Malone dropped at the 15-yard line. Great throw from Pace. Dropped it in a bucket. Malone always in the right place at the right time. 23 catches, 590 yards, 5 touchdowns this year. 07 was Mark D'Antonio's first year at MSU. Nice. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Run, Cletus. Can't quite make the end zone. Gets down about the two yard line, though. Won a couple natties, but it was back in the mid 60s. That is true. You also got schools like Iowa. You know, Minnesota has like six national championships, so that's, that's not going to happen. Touchdown, Damian Sanford. That was way too easy. My goodness. Out of a formation we rarely use. <laughs> Yeah, Iowa, they haven't won one. Let's see, who else is in there? Northwestern. I'm trying to remember everybody. I had a very long, boring day, so my brain is a little fried right now, honestly. Extra point is up, and it is good. And then for the Pac-10, you know, you got Oregon. Really good team. Hasn't won a natty yet. Oregon State. Washington State. Oh, I got crushed. Uh-oh. That's not good. Good tackle. Skip Craft. Tight end with a big hit. Four logs on top. 21-7 here in the second quarter. As we take on... Oh, I missed that. Dang it. I was going to say, as we take on the Dollar General version of Cam Newton, <laughs> as he's dotting me up, he's actually doing quite well, so I can't really harp on him too bad. 5 of 7, 75 yards for the big fella. Nice tackle by Kennedy. Yeah, we've also used the Big 12 because we have the Kansas Dynasty too, so I'm not doing Big 12. Two big conferences, or we'll do one of the small conferences like the MAC. Yeah, there's a drop pass for the Tigers' tight end. And that'll bring up a third down and six. I'm going to blitz Corbin May off the left side of our screen here. Come on, switch up. There we go. Oh my goodness, nice catch by the fullback. Cannot believe I didn't get there in time to deflect that away. 
I'm a little upset about that, honestly. Get him, boys. Oh, what a catch by Pratt inside the five-yard line. I mean, what are we supposed to do against that, you know? Just uh, an amazing catch right there. So tough to try to defend something like that. Pratt, seven touchdowns on the year. He is having a fantastic season. Goodness gracious. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? And Kennedy with a nice tackle on Boone. Just five yards for Boone compared to Damian Sanford's 90 on 10 carries. Let's go 3-4, man lock. Pinch the line. Bring the DBs in. Tigers terrible in the red zone. 70%. That's 94th in the country. And they're going to walk in with a quarterback sneak, which I did not see coming. Because the computer has, like, never ran that against me in this game. Kind of bizarre, to be honest with you. Extra point. Up and extra point. Good. So the Tigers offense finally has a nice drive. Seven plays, 72 yards. 142 off the clock. And they get a touchdown. See how our offense can respond to that. Here's Mullins. Whoop. Oh, what a return from Mullins. Holy smokes, all the way to the 40-yard line. Did not know you had that in you, young fellow. Look at TCU, 52-10 over Louisville. Good grief. Get him out of there. All right, let's go, Cletus. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, I tried to throw it. I don't know what Pace was doing. He's kind of wiggling. I did not like that. I don't know if that... Hey, yeah, that probably counted as a sack. He lost like an inch. That's unacceptable. Let's go, Sanford. Come on. Block Sandoval. Dang it. Sanford over 100 yards in the first half. Closing in on 1,000 for the season with eight touchdowns. Caden Butler, what's going on, Caden? Do I prefer 07 on the PS3 or PS2? Um, well, 07, oh my goodness, oh boy. So anyways, back to that thought. Um, <laughs> 07 is actually my least favorite NCAA game. And it's because of the stupid return camera that I can't turn off. I can't stand it. Uh, but I prefer the PS2 over the PS3 version, absolutely. Let's go, Sanford. Just elite speed. Oh, baby. Oh, all the way down to the two-yard line. Also, welcome, kid. Good to see you. Always like seeing different names in the chat. Yeah, 07 is still a good game on the PS2. It's just my least favorite one. And Sanford going to walk in. That's too easy. He's going to have a big, big game today. He's already having it. You know, I don't know if I've ever, ever actually played 07 on the PS3, to be honest with you. I think the first one I played on the PS3 was 09, I think. I remember the early games for the PS3, the ball didn't even spin. It was so bizarre. Or maybe that was just 09 from what I can remember, but <laughs> it was so funny. Throw the ball 50 yards downfield and the ball has zero spin on it. It's like, how do you not program that into the game? Oregon beats Marshall 29 to 20. Illinois beats Michigan 30 to 20. Some nice games there. Oh, some other Big Ten teams. Indiana, Illinois, they've never won. That I know of. I could be wrong on that. Play action. Uh-oh. Oh, that's picked. Corbin May. All the way to the 19-yard line. This can't, This could be ugly. 
PS3 version is the only one you have, and it's not great. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Okay, so the PS3 college games, there's a couple of them that I enjoyed. Like, I had 09, that's the first one I had. The game was not good. But, did I find enjoyment out of it? Absolutely. Because it's all I had, and I love college football. So I played the heck out of 09. Uh, it, just, it just wasn't a good game. But, 13, I like, I prefer uh, NCAA 13 on the PS3 over uh, NCAA 14. I like the recruiting in 13 so much more. It's more in-depth. It's not, you know, in 14, anybody can recruit. It's so easy. And I just, I don't really care for the gameplay in 14, honestly. Nothing will compare to the PS2 games for me. They're just too good, man. And so is Damian Sanford. Another touchdown. Oh my goodness. Auburn allowing two quick scores. Nice little 14 point swing for us. I don't know what it is about this team this season. But we are putting up a lot of points. And I thought our team was going to be worse this season because of only having nine returning starters. But all the four and five star recruits have filled in very nicely for us. Thankfully. We also got Cletus Pace at quarterback. And you know, he's got like a 91 overall, I think. Definitely starter material. And he's been pretty good for us this season so far. Nice replacement for Napoleon Watson. I mean, Pace did win us the national championship game last season, so with Watson going down. Uh-oh. Ah, nice throw off to the tight end. Clark to the 49-yard line. defense. Oh, there we go. Overthrow. I'll take that. That's good because I dove on accident and that would have been a touchdown. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Do not dive. Don't do it. Alright, let's see how Auburn responds after allowing two straight touchdowns. pass is going to go out of bounds. They're going to get Auburn for holding. And we're going to accept it. Why not? Second down and 20. There's 123 remaining in the first half. This first half has seemed like an eternity. Boone with a nice catch. And a huge gain of like two. Oh, only one. Sorry. I gave him too much credit. Third and 19 for the Tigers. And that is a severe overthrow. They're going to have to punt it away. And we have plenty of time to try to get downfield to get some more points before halftime. Oh, we almost had it. Jeez, we're getting so close. Mullins, you better pick up that ball. You deserve that big hit. My goodness. How do you fumble that? There's nobody within 10 yards of you. I'm furious. All right, let's go slot corner here. See if we can't get Malone out there. Uh-oh. Throw it up. Malone one-on-one. -on -one, and he's got it. To the 44-yard line. I'll take it. Haven't really had to throw it a whole lot in this one. But we sure know how to. 
Malone has been a huge difference maker for this passing attack. Oh my goodness, the left tackle uh, needs to do his job. Four sacks for the Tiger defense. Second down and 15 after that sack. What are we doing, guys? Guys! Guys! I pitched it! Go, Harris! Let's go, big fella! Oh my god! I can't believe he pitched that! I just hit the button, you know, and maybe, maybe he'll pitch it. And he did, and I, you could see. <laughs> I caught it with Harris, and I didn't move because I didn't think it happened. I, like, hesitated so badly. Oh, man. That is too funny. Alright, they're down at five coming up. I mean, they're just blitzing every play. And we overthrow Malone. Well, all right, we'll punt it. I don't want them to get the ball here and get some points. I cannot believe you pitched that to the lineman. <laughs> that was so good. All right, nice punt inside the 20 yard line. That return man had a nice 70s stash. Love that. Out here looking like Tom Selleck. And that should end the first half. Sanford going crazy. 155 yards, three tutties. And it's 35-14 going into the locker rooms. We do kick it off to start the second half. Over 300 yards of offense. Auburn with 153 so far. See how they come out of the locker rooms. Start this second half. Oh, that was nice. That was a really good design. How did we not get the sack right there? Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna blitz Corbin May off the left side here. Option, uh-oh, that's not good. Kennedy saving a touchdown. <laughs> Jeez, what happened? Look at Colorado, number two in the country right now. Oklahoma, number three. Beating somebody 35 nothing. Hey, what's up, Jax? Can't wait for those seven series. Do I plan on emulator? No, sir. I'm playing right off my PS2. Streaming through an Elgato. That is the only way to do it. Alright, that is the proper way. I just honestly I just don't know anything about technology, so that's why I don't <laughs> I don't use an emulator, but. I prefer just going right from the system, honestly. Uh-oh. Get it, boys. No way. Oh, man. What a play. Tigers with a good drive right here. That pump fake fooled zero people and resulted in him getting crushed. But he completed the pass, so hats off to him. holding. There you go, Robbins. Alright. You just bought an original Xbox so you play these old school games? Nice. I like it. I wouldn't mind getting an Xbox just so I could play uh, 2K5 on it. Just so I could have the halftime show. I have 2K5, so I just... You know, it just doesn't have the halftime show on the PS2, unfortunately.
With billions, what's going on, man? Who am I rolling with on 07? No, I do not have my team picked out. I'm going to have you guys pick them. I'll put up another poll tonight um, to pick the conference. We're going to go with either Big Ten, Pac-10, or a small conference. I'll let you guys decide. There will be three choices for you. But I'll post that after the stream. Oh, he's wide open. What are we doing? Oh, touchdown, Tigers. Oh, my goodness. You don't know anything about an emulator? Yeah, man, it's just too much technology. I just can't do it. It hurts my brain. You gonna try to stream? Well, good luck to you, man. You definitely... Elgato is what I got. I got the HD60S, I think. I'm not sure if there's other options out there. But shout out to uh, Mr. Highlight, um, because without him, I would not have this Elgato. He helped me obtain it with a donation to the channel uh, quite a while ago, actually. He's the GOAT. Love Mr. Highlight, man. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, definitely uh, go subscribe to his channel. Been friends with him for quite a few years now. Oh, dang. Nice tackle. Tigers closing the gap a little bit here. Making me a little nervous. Alright, they don't have a corner here. This could be good if the fullback can block that strong safety. He did, and then uh, nobody else blocked the other three players. <laughs> All right, we have 181 rushing yards right now. And I'm going to keep trying to run it. If I choose Big Ten, suggest replacing Northwestern or Indiana with Southern Illinois or Illinois State. Yeah, see, the only thing about the FCS schools is their stadiums are so dang small. It's really frustrating for me. Like, they're not the real stadiums. There you go, Sanford. Okay, nine yards. Okay, he wasn't actually injured there. Love the retro NCAA community. Hell yeah, man. We'll take that first down. Yeah, there's so many good people in our community, man. I don't really get out in the community too much to interact with people. So that's just my... You know, being an introvert and not wanting to really <laughs> do a whole lot with people. But, except for you guys, of course. Hey, what up, Ray? Long time, brother. Hope you and the fam are doing good. Big East might be interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember what the Big East looked like in 07, honestly. But I don't I don't want to use Big East though. I feel like we've done too much. You know, I've been in that area a little too much. But, you know, we we're in the ACC, which I've always like kind of tied that with the Big East cuz all the schools that just kind of fell from the Big East into the ACC. So, and we've already done ACC, what, three times or two times we've been in there. Technically three. Because North Carolina, we were in there. I believe with the Marine Corps, we got into the ACC as well. And then my Hurricanes, 08 Death Penalty Dynasty, obviously we're in there as well. Maybe use Montana. Yeah, Montana does have a big stadium. 
It's like 40,000, I think. I have all that information saved from when I did the FCS Dynasty, so. I know what teams all had the, the big stadiums and whatnot. Oh, he's some good blocking. There we go. Glad to hear everyone's good, Ray. I'm doing all right, man. Rough week last week, but we're back at it today. And we're just pounding the ball down the throat right now. Oh, he's tired. I mean, this man is gassed. Somebody get him some water and some air. I'm just going to keep handing it to him. He's going crazy this game. What kind of offense am I going to run in 07? Uh, I don't know, honestly. That just all depends on, on the team, I guess. You know, if we go with, uh, if we end up going with, like, Oregon, you know, obviously I want to do, like, a high-flying offense, get a lot of speed out there, do something. If we end up picking, like, Iowa or one of the Big Ten schools, you know, I want to be a tough-nosed team, have a great defense, run the ball, you know, stuff like that. I don't know, we might just switch it up. I don't know what I want to do, man. That's why I'm letting you guys decide the team. Well, the game, conference, and then team. I, I might miss this. My my kicking has not been it today. My fingers just don't work. I think I missed it with the accuracy, fellas. Kick is up. Okay, we got it. We're good. Everything's fine. Playbook Gamer? I have heard of him. Doing a triple option dynasty with Akron, nice. Yeah, I already I did triple option uh, with the Marine Corps dynasty that we did. If you haven't watched that one, definitely go check that out. That was a lot of fun. Oh, I I whiffed on that tackle. Oof. My goodness. Two tight end sets. I do like to use the tight end. I I I might have to go with something like that, honestly. But that's something I'm I'm gonna have to tinker around in the game. And, and see what kind of offenses everybody runs so I can get some, some good formations in there that I, I really like. See, I like to use fullbacks and tight ends. And it's in this game especially, you know, it's really hard uh, to utilize your tight ends very much because, you know, you can't really recruit a great athlete at tight end. So it's like, he's just a little bit of, of a faster... Uh, offensive linemen, essentially, it is what the tight ends are in this game. So it makes it a little tough trying to do something like that in this one. But 07 could definitely be it. I'm really excited uh, to have bigger, uh, a bigger roster. Because having 55 players it has been brutal in this one. This one in 04. Montana would be a good fit for the Pac-10. Yeah, they'd be a good fit for that, or the Big Ten, too, honestly. Using Princeton in 06. Put them in Penn in the Big Ten. Nice. Yeah, I, I like Ivy League stuff, too. I did a Harvard Dynasty way back in the day. Oh, I'm glad he dropped that. And that was really fun. I just put the Ivy League in the Big East, took it over. Hey, what up, Tom? What's going on, brother? Let's talk long snapper. Yes, sir. Baltimore Ravens type offense. Like the current Ravens offense with Jackson. That'd be fun. Long snappers win games. Yes. <laughs> yeah, fullbacks, tight ends. Those are my favorite for guys to utilize but I wish it was a little bit easier in this game like you know we can use the fullback pretty good in this one I've done it that's the end of the third quarter it's 38 21 get your fours up in the chat boys can we hang on against the Tigers and improve to 7 0 yeah our fullback last season Harding oh man he was disgusting he was so good He's really good his freshman season as well. Oh, I was just late on that. 
Dang it. My old thumbs just ain't what they used to be, fellas. And a thing that I did in this game, too, is these last, like, five seasons, all we've done is pocket passers, which has been interesting. Oh, I almost had that. You know, we started this dynasty with Ken Tops at quarterback. And uh, he was a freak of nature. He was so athletic. Really fun to run around the pocket with him and escape and have big runs down the field. Which ultimately won him the Heisman. Look at Sanford. 199 yards, three touchdowns. Get wrecked, Auburn. Yeah, I guess it, it doesn't really matter too much what kind of quarterback I get, whether it be a pocket passer or scrambler. I can win with whatever. Whoever I got, I'll win. That's my fault. I took my hand off the left stick. <laughs> oh, no. Say it ain't so. Hey, Tom. Arena football, buddy. Coming up after season 10 of the Bulldogs, so stay tuned. The Making Knights, baby. Coming back. See if we can get uh, James Hickenbotham back in the live stream chat. The GOAT. The absolute menace of the Arena Football League. Guy had like 20 touchdowns or something. Something crazy. Decent return from Mullins up to the 25-yard line. I'm just going to keep running. We're killing them. And Sanford over 200 yards. Making Knights is the best series. I mean, it was pretty damn fun. And just only having one season of that is not enough, so we need more. It's probably going to be our placeholder series, so we'll do... You know, one season of that, and we'll dive into another NCAA dynasty. And then, after that five-season dynasty is over, we will hop back into another season of Arena. It was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. we got to defend our title. Mississippi State had a good playbook in 07. Speedy quarterbacks, nice. Oh, baby. Oh, Sanford. Let's go. He's tired. He's gassed. He's breaking tackles. He's to the 25. Man, this offense is disgusting. And by offense, I mean Sanford. He's just so fast. Like, how do you defend speed? You really can't. He's so much better than our last running back, who was fantastic. And, but I can't even remember his name because Sanford has made me forget. Look at that, 252 yards. Oh my goodness gracious, man. When's the last time I threw it? I'm going to throw the ball. Ready? I'm probably going to throw a pick right here. we got to keep it exciting on the channel, though. Ankle's broken, needs some milk. Yeah, some of these guys are looking silly out here. Up top to Anderson, the tight end, and we overthrow him. See, if he didn't have, like, 50 speed right there, and he was actually a pass-catching tight end, that, that'd be a touchdown. But, you know, uh, here we are. Third down. Maverick Hightower in the chat. What up, Maverick? Love the name, buddy. Oh, I got hit. Well, I guess we're going to try another field goal. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> yeah the replay in this game half the time leaves out like the most important part of a play. It just blows my mind. That's why sometimes if it's like a great play, I'll go back in and just replay it myself. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna do creative school for 07. I'm not sure. Did I just pick punt? What am I doing, guys? I'm distracted. I'm losing my mind. Imagine I actually punt it right there from the 21. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. All right, 38 yard field goal try for Rick Hayes. I'm nervous. I missed it. No, I didn't. All right. Never mind. I keep doubting myself and proving myself wrong. 41 28 is the score. Just over four to go in the ball game here in Stockville, Mississippi. Can I break a block, please? I am begging you. I can never break blocks. It's so difficult in this game sometimes. Hey, we're over 400 yards of offense now. Tiger's still within striking distance. This game is not over. Uh-oh. I got beat. Woo. We got lucky. Got real lucky on that one. Oh my goodness, what was that? Now don't get me wrong, I do like creative school. But I prefer using real schools most of the time, honestly. We will do another creative school dynasty eventually though. Let's go, Kennedy! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Seven tackles for the free safety. Man, that was a tack for a loss. But I really enjoyed the the Marine Corps dynasty that we had going. That was really fun. Oh my goodness, we got so close. And what I was really having a lot of fun was um, was the Tampa Spartans dynasty that I had in 14. But we just ended up having some corrupt files back in the day when I originally started it. And I tried to bring it back and uh, recently, last year, I believe. And it just didn't work out for some reason. So, but that was a really fun idea. I, I enjoyed that while it lasted. But the corrupt files really, <laughs> really ruined the series for me, honestly. Just missing a few games. That was back when I was editing. I don't do that anymore. Not, never again. I'm just not doing it. Okay, Malone, you're wide open. That's cool. That's easy money. Three catches, 92 yards for Post Malone. The legend. The absolute legend. We're not really throwing the ball too well today. Five of 14, a buck 61. Tutty and a pick. Okay, this play is not going to work. They just had everybody right where we were going. They're blitzing. Wide open. There's a tight end up to the 20 yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Now we are taking on Kentucky after this one, so stick around for that one, boys. My own lineman just pinballed me right into the defensive tackle. I'm furious. How dare you! How dare you? Hey, hey, what up, Marvin? What's going on, brother? Glad to see you, man. Oh, high snap. We're not looking good. We're not looking good. Yeah, we are. Touchdown. Post Malone on the post. This game's over. Done. Finished. Kaput. Man, Sanford really put his body on the line for his quarterback right there. Our offense has never scored this many points. I mean, I mean, it's just been ridiculous this season. Every game we scored 40 or more points except for one. Off work for the next three days, so you're real good? Yes, sir. Yes, you are. Hopefully you enjoy all three of them, man. I'll be streaming every day that you're off, so I'm just saying. I expect you to stop by and say hello. Oh my goodness. Close line. We 
been discussing the 07 dynasty that we're having next for college football. Okay, nice, uh, nice catch by Boone. I mean, heavy traffic on that right side. Covering two guys, I'm scared. Deflection. Let's go, Kennedy. All right, third down and five. <laughs> Welcome to DadBod904 to the Discord community. What a name! Man, that pass goes nowhere, incomplete. Tiger's gonna go for it on uh, fourth and five, of course. We're getting another 50 burger here today. Which is kind of absurd. I'm listening. I'm doing it. I'm nervous. I'm not doing it. I gave up. And it's picked off by Barry. Let's go, Barry. You're the best. You've only ever played Dynasty mode on 09. Marvin, what the heck are you doing, man? That might be one of the most unbelievable things I've ever, ever read in my chat. How do you have a million college games, but only do Dynasty in one? That's impressive, actually. I can't even lie. Okay, this play is not going to work. I only got a first down out of it. 263 yards. We're trying to get this man the Heisman, so don't be hating on me that he's still in the game when we're up big, all right? We've only got one Heisman in nine seasons. It's been a little rough out here. Marvin, you should do a series on, on your channel where you do a dynasty for the first time ever in all the other games. I'd watch it. Alright, I guess we're throwing it here. Malone touchdown. <laughs> what a play that was. Get wrecked, Auburn. Get him out of here. Oh, that was beautiful. Malone just popping off today. What a throw that was, too. Rolling left, stops. Pops it. 40, 50 yards downfield. Whew. We might just go back to back this season, boys. I can't remember the last time we went back to back. What? Have we gone back to back in our dynasties? I can't remember, honestly. Marvin, off the top of your head, have we ever gone back to back champions on our on our on the channel right now in any of the series? Sanford played the game. Uh, no surprise there. Three touchdowns. 275 yards of offense. So you, you had 08, but you didn't do a dynasty. That's crazy to me. It's crazy. It's like having a, you know, a, a Ferrari, but you don't drive it. Like, what? What are you talking about, man? That's crazy. Okay, he spun absolutely nowhere. That was beautiful. They're down six for the Tigers. 
I'm covering two guys. I'm scared. I'm nervous. They got it. Oh, what a hit by Corbin May. He absolutely just busted Antoine Love. Get the stretcher. And get him out of here. Man, that was a vicious hit. That is one thing I'm looking forward to in 07 is actually getting big hits from the hit stick. Four oh eight, you haven't played one since ninety seven. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, that's the end of the game. Fifty five twenty eight. Bulldogs are on fire. We are just cruising this season. Which is really shocking. Like, I thought Sanford was going to be pretty good for us, but I, I didn't expect the offense to, to be as good as it is. I definitely didn't expect the defense to be as good as it is right now. All these BS records that we have. We got sacked five times, fellas. We, <laughs> we didn't sack them once. Oh, my goodness. Crazy. Only one penalty from the dogs. Okay, I'll take that. Once you saw I made JU in the FCS Dynasty, you knew I was a legend? All right. <laughs> you should check out all the other uh, FCS schools I made. There's a playlist on the channel. I created all their uniforms and everything. It was a lot of fun, actually. The FCS tournament that we did. Really fun. I love FCS football. I used to do series like that, well not series, just dynasties like that on my own uh, growing up. I would always put the FCS schools in and, you know, Syracuse would end up going on and winning like three national championships in a row, crazy stuff like that. Malone, five for 158, two touchdowns, Massey had a 59-yarder. Wow, we really just did not have to throw the ball at all in this game, that was crazy. Harris, he's the one that actually... Did did he get credit for a run? He did. <laughs> Left tackle. One for ten. I love it. That is amazing. Kennedy and May with seven tackles. Robbins with six. Gray with four. Barry with three. Nobody else with more than two. You ever stream a dynasty? You'll create JU once again. Nice. I will definitely tune in for that one, man. Yeah, the FCS dynasty, is, it's... It's so much work. Like, I love doing it, but it, just, it takes over my channel, and it doesn't allow me to to do anything else that I want to do. Too much uh, expectations, I think. We had a 50-yard kick return today. I like it. Oops. All right, let's go beat the hell out of Kentucky, shall we? Not sure what their record is on the season, but. Doing a Bishop Sycamore Dynasty, having to pay the players on the table. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. I love it. All right, we're going to go ahead and save it. Look at that. Washington State beat Stanford 9-6 to in overtime. Guys, what happened? Dolphin logo faced the wrong way on the helmets. Ah, oh, that's tough. Dang. That's really unfortunate, honestly. I'm really hoping the new college football game is going to be good. I'm not getting my hopes up for it. I'm not pre-ordering it. I need to see some gameplay first. Now, if I see some actual gameplay and it looks legit, I will buy that thing. And it will be on the channel. Definitely want to check it out at least, but I'm not just going to drop 70 bucks on it, you know, immediately without ever having even seen a single second of gameplay or a, or a screenshot or something. I mean, they're keeping all the information, you know, <laughs> to themselves. Unacceptable. All right. 
Go simulate uh, week 10. Model after their final season look. No logos on the helmet. Yeah, that's not too bad. I really love their color scheme. I mean, it's still, to this day, the fi my favorite FCS team and uniform that I made was Mercer. I mean, those were just... Mwah, oh, chef's kiss. So good. Here's the matchup. Kentucky, uh, what happened? You guys were doing all right. And then realized that you're a basketball school? Is that what happened? How are we not number one for points per game? What? What do you mean? Oh, I think, did that just break our record? For most wins in a row? Oh, we broke that last stream. Never mind, my bad. We're on 22 games won in a row. Our previous record was 20 that we got during our first national, uh, national championship run way back in the day. know if this was televised, but we're gonna do it anyway. It is. Somehow this is televised. I like it. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Alright, what are we doing here? Come on, Troy State. What happened? I want to simulate the rest of these games of the week. Just so we're the final game. And then after, uh, it can just save and I can bounce the heck out of the stream. Colorado had to have lost. Look at Oklahoma. They are murdering everybody. They are number one in points per game. Wow. We might get a rematch with them in the title game. That'd be fun. Oregon lost. Miami killed Rutgers. No surprise there. Look at this exciting game. Nevada SMU. 20 to 10. Do, 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 do. Here's a good game. Nah, never mind. Never mind. Go TCU. Awesome. Southern Miss has been really good in this series. What happened to Rice? Did the best recruiting class in the state of Texas for like three straight seasons. Stanford UCLA was a good one. UNLV, 17-0 over Wyoming, Boise State, UTEP, UTEP wins it, and let's see, Virginia beats up Wake Forest, no surprise there, Wake Forest is terrible, alright, here we go, let's get it, I'm ready, I'm ready, Get some water before this game. Wonderful to have as much success running the football in Kentucky as we do against Auburn. Tigers just could not stop our run game at all. Sanford went absolutely ballistic. And it was beautiful to watch. I mean, the fourth quarter, I was reading chat more than I was paying attention to the TV. And I... <laughs> Still ran for over 260. Scott Field, located in Starkville, Mississippi, the battle drive for this college football showdown. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Let's go, dogs! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi, welcome everybody. Brad Nestler here along with Lee Corso and Kirk Curb Street. We are delighted you could join us today for this late season push for bowl bids and conference positioning. The Wildcats are looking for an upset in this one, but Kirk, I just don't see that happening. Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blow. Oof, look at those Kentucky yards. Kentucky has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. You're 100% correct. Kentucky does not match up well defensively against this passing attack. And that's the reason why I think they're going to be out of this one early. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if it's over by halftime. Thanks, Kirk. Over by halftime. You heard it, boys. Let's get it. 
We're going to make Lee Corso's dream come true right here. Give me the ball. Or not. That's fine. I'll, I'll take the ball with the defense. That's fine. We got this. Let's go, boys. Rick Hayes on for the kickoff. Senior kicker. Boots it. Yeah, the water tower is immaculate. That's for damn sure. All right, let's go defense. Why is it showing our timeouts? Like, <laughs> the game just started. What do you mean, man? Pump, 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 pump it up. Uh, okay, I don't know what that play was. That was terrible, but I like it. They just play football to pass the time until basketball season starts. That is very true. Although their football team has been pretty decent as of late. I can't remember what they did last season, but... We've had a couple of pretty good seasons uh, last several years. Oh, he's wide open. Good tackle by the corner, Robbins. Already in a third down and medium situation here, third and six. Call that a long five yards to go. Option. Oh, I whiffed. I think we still stopped him, though. Let's go, boys. Big time tackle. Mullins back deep to return the punt. Love starting the game out with, uh, you know, three and out by our defense. Love to see that. Let's go. We blocked another one, boys. And we recovered it. That is a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Tony Calhoun. That was a high snap. That's what causes the block punt. Calhoun blocks it. Out here looking like Ed Reed scooping it up, scoring a touchdown. Second ever block punt in this game by me. That's absolutely correct, Tom. You are right. The snapper is just off his A game right now. I have another clip to post on the channel. Block punt return for touchdown in NCAA football 2003. That video will probably get like 1,400 views, just like the last two that I posted. Let me get off of this block, please. All right, that was a pretty hot start to the game. Let's see if we can't just do it again. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Copeland with the tackle. Four-yard pickup. Kentucky got to a 20 ranking and then they played Georgia. Well, that's unfortunate for them. <laughs> Man. Imagine thinking you're good and then you go up against the defending champions. It's like, oh, well, you're done. Passing tight coverage. There were three defenders in the vicinity. Third down six yet again for Kentucky. I'm so hyped that we blocked a punt again. Crazy. What are you doing, Barry? Come on, man. Making my linebacker chase him down. Barry, you're fired. No more NIL for you, sir. I mean, what's he doing? He outran that so badly. I'd like to get some pressure on a quarterback at some point this season. We did not have a single sack last game. Okay, Barry. Barry, my guy. Please. No, I don't, I don't want to see the replay of Barry getting torched again. Stop it. He's out here lost. He doesn't know what time it is either. 
lost in the wilderness, doesn't have a watch, doesn't have a compass. At least Kennedy can tackle. Alright, let's go 3 4. Ducky, 73% in the red zone, 92nd in the country. That is awful. Of course, they're going to score on us right here. Good tackle by Gray. Freshman, strong safety. We got a third and three situation. Let's go, boys. Get that stop. Let's go. Nice goal line stand for the dogs. Vanelli, 11 of 15 on the season, long of 41. And field goal's up, and the field goal is good, 7 to 3 here in Stockfield, Mississippi. Halfway through the first quarter, our offense is set to take the field for the first time today. Freshman running back McCoy on for the return. And he's got himself a lane up the left sideline, up past the 45-yard line. Special teams killing it so far in the first. They were they started out undefeated and then lost five of their next seven games, including Clemson in the Gator Bowl. What happened, Kentucky? Come on, man. You guys just gave up on the year. <laughs> Jeez. I got hit. Somebody help me, please. Mullins. Oh, it hit him in the hands. Cletus. I can't believe he even got that pass out there. Oh, here we go. Get that block, Sandoval. Okay, let's go. Nice stiff arm up to the 27-yard line for Sanford. Look at that. We'll actually get a highlight of the stiff arm. How about that? Thanks, EA. Well, that puts Sanford over 1,100 yards on the season. Ten touchdowns. Oh, my goodness. Up to the 10-yard line. Yeah, that's definitely SEC bias. For sure, Marvin. And Sandoval, the fullback, the big fella. In for his second touchdown in the last two weeks. He loved to see it. He was untouched. You know, maybe for the next dynasty, we'll just run like a single back set but we'll just use a full back and we'll run like double tight ends as well that sounds like a pretty fun offense to me get a couple tall lanky receivers on the outside Does 07 have the 335 defense? Because I really enjoy that one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Help me. Somebody help, please. Please. I got real scared right there. Alright, Kentucky. Let's settle down. Okay, let's take it easy. Counter. Goes nowhere. Lions gets uh, maybe maybe a half a yard. Get him! Uh oh, that was a nice cut by uh, Christina Aguilera over here. You know, 
Kentucky's offense has actually uh, been able to move the ball on our defense, and I do not appreciate it. Uh -oh. 07 is when the game opens up with playbooks for offense and defense. Nice. So 3-5 three, three, should be in there then. What about the pistol? Do they have the pistol in there? As <laughs> I asked that as I saw your message. Yeah, Nevada's playbook. I like the pistol. It's a good formation. I used to use Kaepernick all the time in Nevada and just go crazy. It's a really fun playbook, honestly. I like it. They're down at 10. Pump, 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 pump it up. Uh-oh. I'm scared. Let's go, Gray. Woo. All right. Freshman. Strong safety with a pick. Fourth on the season to go along with 32 tackles. He's been pretty good for us so far. Let's see if we can't hit him with a play action. You know where we're going. Post Malone, baby. Come on, Malone. You got them all beat, brother. Let's go. Inside the 40-yard line of Kentucky. And it looks like he's got a linebacker covering him and a slow safety. So, I mean, that's just a disaster for Kentucky's defense. Number three offense in the country. 482 yards per game for the Dogs. Nice block by Sandoval. Did just enough to get Sanford up to the 24. It's insane how good Sanford is. It really is. Oh no, that was definitely pass interference. They all like stopped right in front of the running back. That is so unfortunate. Here we go. Run Sanford. Whoop. Oh, he couldn't spin. Dang it. Four carries, 17 yards per carry. Killing it. First and nine, apparently. And there's Malone up to the one and a half yard line. See if we can get Sanford his 11th touchdown run of the season. And we are in for six. I don't know why our team is so dominant this season. It it just baffles me. Like I understand we got a lot of four and five star players, but we have so many we have forty one underclassmen. Twenty one to three is now the score. The seven plate, ninety two yard drive took just a minute and a half off the clock. going way to the right. Definitely one thing I'm really looking forward to uh, in 07 is having a bigger roster. 55 players is so brutal. Having to cut players that you just recruited that are probably going to be really good in a couple years. It's been tough. That was nearly a diving interception. Still in the first quarter here in Starkville. Where's he going with this? And we deflected away, nearly picked off. A lot of defenders converging on the area. 
They're down at 10 coming up. Final play of the first quarter. Maybe. Oh my goodness, Mason. <laughs> he laid out for it, almost had it. Now we'll have the final play of the first quarter. If we get another block with Calhoun, I'm going to lose my mind. Nope. He was close, though. All right. Into the second quarter we go on top 21 to 3 over the 2 and 5 Wildcats, who are just really struggling this season. They've lost three straight, about to be four, because uh, let's be honest, uh, we're going to destroy them. It's just how it is. He's got a linebacker on him. Malone, what are you doing? Brother. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Too easy. Pace dropping dimes. Looked like they had a linebacker on him, I think. Yeah, that's definitely a linebacker. Oh, my goodness. How does that happen? As a defensive coordinator, how do you allow that to happen? Best wide receiver in college football last season, and you put a linebacker on him. Absurd. And it's 28 to 3 now. Oh my goodness, Mason is going to get a diving interception in this game, I'm telling you. That's the second one he almost had. If only he didn't have, you know, bricks as hands. What in the heck? Oh, I wish there was hit stick, man. I'm, I'm right there for it. Taking out some kneecaps. Down to five for the Wildcats. Quarterback's going to take off. Barry, what are you doing? You're getting run over. Oh, Gray with a big hit on the quarterback. Jeez. That looked personal. Woo. Get him out of here. Get him a body bag. Oh, it's picked. Robbins. Oh, he's gone. Goodbye. Pick six for the Bulldogs. That's not a record, all right? Let's, we just break records every time we play this game. But it's always the same records. He threw it right to him. Like, what's he doing? Is he blind? They need to bring him over to the medical tent. I mean, my goodness. That man is seeing sounds, all right, and hearing smells. It is 35 to 3. Lee Corso wanted this over at halftime, and we are delivering. pump the crowd up anymore. We're up so big. Oh, 
Nice catch by Bonner. And Kentucky moves the chains. Okay, okay. That's right, Marvin. We've got to honor Coach, uh, Coach Corso, 100%. That's what the old-timer wants, man. Oh, my goodness. We should have had another pick there with Robbins. You know, the way we're playing, I don't think anybody's going to stop us this season. Now, granted, we do have to get through Arkansas and Ole Miss. The rivalry games are always uh, just so tough. I whiffed completely. But Mason doesn't, and Marks recovers. Oh, my goodness. This might be the most lopsided victory we'll have uh, ever. Just ever. Barely been on offense, honestly. Like, what? How many plays have we had on offense? I feel like the defense has been on the field the whole game. We're scoring so quick. Definitely, we're definitely going to make season 10 our final season with the Bulldogs. We could always uh, come back to this dynasty and just use a different school. Oh, pace. Oh, my goodness. Whew. But I think our team is just too dominant right now. With 41 underclassmen coming back for season 10, I mean, my goodness. We're just going to have a different quarterback under center, that's all. I know you guys probably don't want to sit here and watch me just destroy everybody every time. So, season 10, that'll definitely be a good stopping point for us. Sanford, up to the one-yard line. We are in again. Six touchdowns in the first half. All sorts of different ways. Passing, running, block, punt, return, touchdown, a pick, six. I think we'll get Sanford another 100-yard game. And uh, we're going to put some backups in in the second half. That's going to go out of bounds to the left. Never mind. Stayed in bounds. Okay. Tackle by Robbins, the corner. We only have 239 yards of offense. And we've got 42 points on the board. It took us eight seasons, but I think we built a, uh, we built a powerhouse here. And Starkville. Where are you going? It doesn't even feel like Kentucky is trying. Who 
we got next? We got Alabama, I think. Oh my goodness. No way. Sanford, can he win the foot race? He does. Touchdown Bulldogs. Oh my goodness gracious. Jeez. <laughs> Guys, I wasn't even using speed burst until I hit the second level. I was 15 yards downfield and then I hit it. Kentucky doesn't want to get hurt anymore. Well, guess what? They don't have a choice right now. Incredible. 49 to 3. There's still 250 to go in the first half. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Dang. Damien twisting the knife. Yeah, that run was ridiculous, man. Just right up the middle. I, I just, I didn't do anything special. Before this season, I could count the 50 burgers we had on one hand in the previous eight seasons. I don't know where this sudden outburst of scoring came from, but I'm, I'm here for it. I'm loving it. Oh yeah, we're definitely putting in the backups at halftime, Marvin, for sure. Kentucky looks like they're going in, in slow motion. They had to have had just a bunch of bad recruiting cycles. And I'm only doing like, I pick between like six to eight plays on defense every game. I don't get too crazy switching stuff up. What happened? Did he get crushed? Why are we showing this? He didn't even catch that. EA with a great replay there. Oh my goodness, Corbin May with the closing speed deflects it away. That was going to be the best play of the game for the Wildcats. Please sack the quarterback. We have not sacked the quarterback in six quarters. My goodness, Mason. Can we get the 50 burger before halftime? Wouldn't that be something? Not even close on that block attempt. Let's do a counter. See if that works. Because, I mean, right now everything's working against these guys. Probably not this play, though. They just shifted right into it. Yep, yeah, that was a good play. He's got 154 yards, three touchdowns in the first half. Well, it is the 100th, <laughs> 100th ranked defense in the country. That's sad. All right, they're running man or uh, zone coverage here. Yeah, we'll run it again. Left side. They just know what we're doing. They know. But this time, they're running man. And we don't get it. Wow.
Gonna chuck it up. Final play of the half. And bounces off of Massey. And we got the 49 to 3 lead at halftime. This game does not have mass subs on it, so I'm just gonna switch out a few guys here. We have a backup fullback. Well, we do, but he's redshirted. I don't want to switch too much because, uh, well, I have to switch it all back after. We will put Becker in there. Strong safety. And I want to see what... Wait, is Sandoval starting somewhere else? What? What are we talking about here? Ain't no way this dude's starting. Is this game high right now? Hello? Huh? Okay, I guess uh, Sandoval's not playing. What is up with that? Kentucky Duke had crowd signs to say when does basketball season start? Yeah, I think so too. Oh, that spin move was disgusting. <laughs> GG. Listen, Tom, we still got two quarters, buddy. Get to see the young fella shine now. Maybe if there was blocking. Billy Bond picking up seven. Our speedy quarterback. Just going to keep running the option with him. Why not? All right, they're running zone. Easy money. And Sanford is in the game at halfback. Why? It doesn't even make any sense. Is he just in there and single back? Why? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. So yeah, put me in, coach. I haven't played enough today. I haven't scored enough yet. Alright, Colorado just put up 53 on somebody. I didn't see who that was. Clicked off too quickly. And Billy Bond picking up another third down conversion. He's got 20 yards on the ground. Option is beautiful when you got a quarterback that can actually move a little bit. Zone coverage again. Oh, McCoy, come on, man. You gotta spin him out. Do it for the one time. Drops only gets two yards. Well, I guess we'll look to throw it. Run, Billy. Couldn't quite juke him out. He got a little bit tired there at the end of that run. Yeah, we'll punt it.
I guess. And fair caught at about the nine and a half yard line. Still not sure why I couldn't put Sandoval in a free safety, but whatever. I snap. Vaughn going to take off. Quarterback draw. Picks up two. throw over the middle. Looked like he had him for a second. Receiver kind of got turned around. And it's picked off by Barry at the 32-yard line. Quarterback pressured and hit by Corbin May on the blitz. Dude's doing a pirouette out here, just throwing up a prayer. And Billy Bond fumbles it. And somehow, what in the heck just happened there? Can I get a replay? That ball bounced right up to our left tackle, Harris. Look at this. <laughs> so, two games in a row, <laughs> Harris, our left tackle, ends up with the ball. That's crazy. Last time we pitched it to him, this time he recovers the fumble. I'm just going to keep running the option. Why not? Here we go, McCoy. And the freshman gets us the 50-burger. Too easy. Kentucky asleep at the wheel. Great blocking on the outside. McCoy using that 92 speed to his advantage against that linebacker. Or what might have been a defensive end, actually. Extra point up and good. 56 to 3. We got the 50 burger. That's going to go out of bounds to the right. That's my bad. My bad, dog. I knew I was going to have a bad kick today. I knew it. I just thought it was going to be a, a missed extra point or field goal or something. Or a five yard punt. in the cards it might be we put up 70 against Vandy that's the most points we ever scored in this series what's the record like the actual record in the game what is it like 100 and something I can't remember what the heck it is honestly oh the real record is like 222 Mississippi State being the abusive stepfather to Kentucky. Oh, man. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> I mean, really, it's been our defense that has just been crushing them. And we get the stop.
I got blocked, dang it. What's the record in the game? I, what the heck is it? It's like 105 or something. Yeah, I put up 126 in a game, yeah. Oh, nice tackle. Who did I do that against, Marvin? I can't remember. What South Southwest Missouri State or South South something Missouri State? What the heck was it? That game was bonkers. But hey, you said run off the score, so or somebody did. Was it you or was it Savannah State? We're just cruising along. Going for a 60, boyga. Southwest Missouri State, that's what I thought. Yeah, they <laughs> they were real bad in that series. And Billy Bond picking up five more up the middle on the option. I remember Hines went crazy that game. So did Mr. Highlight. They went bananas. Man, that pitch animation took forever. Didn't allow me to actually make a, a move down the field. Yeah, we, we put up a lot of points with, with Jacksonville and, and Savannah State in that series, man. It was a lot of fun. Why is Sanford back in the ballgame? What is happening? All right, buddy. You got 176 yards. Go sit down, please. Don't get injured. All right, fourth quarter is here. We're on top 56-3. to three. An absolute nail biter here in Starkville, Mississippi. I don't know who Colorado lost to. It had to have been Oklahoma, but they're they're killing everybody. Trying to run this clock down all the way. Get out of here with no injuries. And McCoy picking up 10 yards and a first down. 16 first downs for the Bulldogs in this one. Definitely going to be posting the highlight of that block punt return touchdown on the channel. And it's own little standalone video. Because that was epic. Man, blocks it, scoops it up, and scores it all by himself. It was beautiful. McCoy up to the 15-yard line. He's got 65 yards in this game. Said hut hut. Mullins, you broke a tackle, but you lost two yards, buddy. I don't know, trying to get too crazy with it. <laughs> Wide receiver reverse up 53. Don't judge me, all right? I like to have fun. 
This is my only source of fun. Oh, Billy Bob up to the five yard line. Nice run for the quarterback. He's up to 51 yards on eight carries. Third down and one. And McCoy moves the chains. So you can't really say I'm running off the score either. Like, <laughs> we're doing nothing but running the football. This whole second half. I, I don't know if we've thrown it once. Running the clock down, just pounding the rock. McCoy down to the one yard line. I probably could have scored there, but takes more time off the clock. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the stream so far tonight. If you have, please slap that like button, subscribe if you're new, and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that bad chicken. That's right, I said it, that bad chicken. What's up? Touchdown! Bulldogs got the 60 burger. With uh, little to no effort here in the second half. And after the stream, I'll be posting a poll on the channel. So please do not forget to vote on that. We're going to pick our conference for our NCAA 07 Dynasty team. It's either going to be Pac-10, Big Ten, or a small conference. So whatever you guys decide, we will go with it. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a face mask. Just a five-yarder on Sandoval, who I apparently cannot put at free safety for whatever reason. High snap. And Vaughn gonna move the chains for the Wildcats. All right. Good run by the quarterback. Still no sack on the quarterback. Two straight games. We have 323 rushing yards in this contest. Really no opportunity to throw. We've been up big the whole time. It's all right. It'll keep Cletus Pace well rested. Defense. Good run. I mean, not much I can do here. Missed tackle by Robbins, the corner. And Barry got all the way to that side of the field. The other corner did. Nice tackle for a loss by Kennedy, the free safety. Wildcats do have over 200 yards of offense now. So they have been struggling. Oh, I went inside. I should have went out. Dang it. I always try to keep them uh, going to the inside, but for some reason my brain decided to not do that on that play. Oh, 
Robbins, that would have been a sick interception. Sack the quarterback, please. We've got no pressure on this guy today. Except for one hit that resulted in a pick. But other than that, we've done nothing. Go defense, third down and one. And we finally get a sack. And a fumble recovery for Neal. Let's go. Six turnovers for the Wildcats. Wow. Total domination here today. How is that my current drive? Get out of here. Oh, nice tackle. Oh, my goodness. Ran right into a brick wall. Kentucky actually has 100 yards rushing today. Which is kind of crazy. the final play of the ball game 63 to 3 the score seems familiar <laughs> chaos driven in the chat what's going on brother how you doing you came uh, just in time to see the last like three plays impeccable timing how dare you sleep I'm getting real sick and tired of it that's the final 63 to 3 Bulldogs improved to 8 and 0 on the season we were up 49-3 to at halftime. Uh, yeah, Kentucky. Uh, what happened, guys? They've lost four straight after... They, they were 2-2. Two and two. And now they got to win out for a bull bid. Well, we just... We killed them. There's really no other way around it here. We had another block punt. Return for a touchdown. That really opened up the floodgates for us and started the massacre here tonight in front of our home crowd. Six takeaways for our defense. Well, five. One for our special teams. Yeah, look at that score. That fumble return touchdown. That That is a block punt by Calhoun. Sandoval with a 10-yard run. That's the fullback. Sanford scored. Pace to Malone. Had a pick six. Sanford. Sanford. The other running back. McCoy. McCoy. Killed him. Killed him. Damn near. Wrecked him. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying all the things right now. Look at this passing attack, man. Just slicing and dicing him. I mean, the, the running game is insane. Malone, the only receiver with a catch today. Three for 120 and a touchdown. Beautiful. No drops. Love to see it. Mason, eight tackles. Wait, did we not get a sack? I thought we got a strip sack at the end of the game. Did we not? Okay. I feel like we just got robbed right there. Eight pass deflections, couple forced fumbles here. Three recovered. Block. Tutties. Oh, yes. No field goals. And we didn't even hold them to a punt because we just kept taking the damn ball away from them. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that is going to do it for the stream tonight, everybody. As always, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, slap the like button again. Slap it three times, maybe four. And subscribe if you're new. There's a link in the description for the Discord and 
and, and Twitter and all that fun, happy stuff. Not that anybody really cares about Twitter, but, you know, I'm on there sometimes. Whatever. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Until next time, take it easy, guys.